Hey there, my name is Remy Sharp and I am going to build a website. Um, I enjoy drinking gin and just recently um, Mike, Mike Street uh, shared this link where they were collecting ales that they had drink, drunk and gave them a little rating um, and they mentioned that they had done it I think originally with Google Spreadsheets um, and actually I have on the FFConf website uh, this jobs page is driven by um, uh, Google Spreadsheets so you enter the details via a Google Form um, this Google Form has a public CSV endpoint and what happens is the endpoint updates FFConf actually gets a kind of a, a regular build. I think it's rebuilt twice a day, something like that. Um, and in the code, what happens is uh, during the build, this is a public public repo, um, during the build that happens a couple of times a day, um, it will slurp up the URL. It will... Um, It'll process the uh, the CSV and transform it into JSON, um, and then it uses Levante to render this jobs page. So I figured I should be able to use a Google Form for recording gins I like, so that I remember what gins I like and where I found them and give it a rating, um, and it would be a fun little project and. Like uh, pretty much all the projects I do, I um, foolishly started with the domain name. I have a lot of domain names where I just keep buying the domain name and uh, <laughs> don't know if I'm actually going to make the thing. But we've got an empty directory here and what I'm going to do is initialize it. Um, it's going to be with a, a private, private repo. Actually, it doesn't have to be private. What am I, what am I talking about? Um, but it's going to use Levante and um, it's going to use a Google Form. So I'm going to use Mike's like page as a template of stuff. Just, yeah. Um, so Jin uh, with me. Uh, and we're going to do, I guess what I want, what I want is a photo. I guess he does quite a pretty good job of cropping it here. Um, the name of the gin, probably the, I guess the producer, I guess that might be what uh, this is, right? Um, my rating out of 10, the date, maybe a number, which we might be able to kind of, we should be able to generate on the fly, um, and maybe a description. So uh, let's, let's get that going. So, um, yeah. Gin name. If you can hear that, it's my cat. Um, acquired uh, producer. So I guess it's like, I don't know, Monkey 47. I guess it'd be useful if there's a drop down, right? Yeah, because I'm not going to put Schwartz Lord. Gin, whoa, what's happening there? Okay, I'm getting kicked out. Right, um, let's get rid of these for a couple of seconds. Uh, be probably useful to have a drop down there, but I don't know if I can do that yet. Uh, drop down. I might be able to populate that, but let's just do short answer for the time being. Um, rating out of 10. And that is gonna be a linear scale. From one to ten. What does that look like? Look, that'll be fine. And um, what do we say? Date. We'll make that. Can we give it a default? Uh, hmm. I guess if it's not there, we'll 
populate it with the current date. Yeah, if, they, if it's blank, then we'll use the created date. So I think you get a, a like a created record date. Um, here, I want to be able to upload a photo. Oh, there we go. For, uh, correspondence. Yep, that's fine. So this is a photo. Um, image. Number of files, max file size. Well, one meg, I think like five meg is kind of the size, right? Um, I'm gonna make it required. Actually, the responses, what I'm gonna do, um, uh, I'm gonna make it so that you have to be signed in. Um, and they can edit. So the reason for collecting the email address, even though it's going to be me to start off with, is that um, I can imagine this being uh, gin with me slash rem, right? And then that's the gins that I've collected. And maybe there's a, a gin with me slash Julie um, and so on and so forth. And what I can do is just put a JSON file mapping from um, email address to uh to username and that can just be code and it can kind of generate all of the um the gin papers so i don't know the only email address you enter is park own what what does that mean I want it to be requires sign in I'm already messing this up aren't I so the idea here is that I don't have to build the form that does all the capturing right I have to build a form which I don't want to do anyway um, and it's a way of offloading some of that tech to something else right Okay, so um, photo. What did uh, what else did Mike use? Uh, description. Nah, I think that's all we need. And then a description. Description. There you go. I reckon that's probably enough for the time being. Right. So I'm going to put. Um, what I'm going to start with. Uh, I'm going to fill one out. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do. Um, Wimbledon, Wimbledon, Chin, ah. Wimbledon Garden Gin, what's that? Wimbledon, yes. Do I need that on mine? I don't know. So let's add. Let's give it the name. Wimbledon Garden Chin. Wimbledon game gin, I guess, uh, very much like it. Um, and uh, no, can't do that. I'm just going to download this photo for a second. It's not the greatest. Um, but I'll change it to a real photo later. Uh, Um, oh god, I haven't got a good description. Screw it, I'm just going to do that. Okay. Cool. So, <clears throat> I also want this to be shared. So, where's the... How do I make it so that it's... Get pre-filled link? No, nope. that's not what I want. Get uh, no. Oh, am I not allowed to? 
No, I want to be able to fill that in more than once. Uh, that was made that wrong, didn't it? I need some way of saying requires sign in. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, so, um, how do I share this? Send, send? Oh man. All right, let's go to these. See if I can, no. How do I share, make this as presentation? Oh no, 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 it was in the Excel sheet, that was it. So I'm gonna create a new Excel sheet. That's how it works, right. So the Excel sheet, I can then take the, uh, the URL, share, publish to web, uh, entire document, CSV. Right, so this is automatically republished. This is what I want, right? Yes. So now I've got a URL. I can then use that in my code and collect it kind of regularly. I'm going to just tidy up these field names. Uh, name, producer, rate, date, so description. And we don't have email address. We need the email address. Darn it. So it looks like I do have to put in, uh, make the email address field that I have to capture, collect email address. There you go, okay. So, um, there you go. Oh, it's reset all the field twice. Darn, can I not change these? Name, producer, date, photo, description. Email, Remy, shop, gmail, com. I've got a sneaky suspicion that Actually work. That doesn't look like a CSV. Okay, All right. Let's go into let's go into here. Cool. That did not work. Can I? Follow that? Yeah, okay. Right, let's do another one. Um, and let's see if it messes up the field. So, uh, this is just going to be remshop gmail.com. Uh, monkey47. Forgot the producer name. What was it? Something. Oh, date of birth. Oh my god, essential. What on earth? That, oh, this is all an image. Brilliant. Okay. Let's make, well, okay, let's just say monkey and put seven. I've kind of gone off it. Um, oh man, I made all these fields required. Photo. That was the photo being uploaded to ADRS. Uh, used to like a lot complex 
flavors, but oh, let me do that. Not so keen. And really, this is a review for myself, not for um, yeah, not for someone else. So the question is, has this updated? Let's have a look. Not yet. There it is. Cool. And the field names have stayed the same as well, which is what I wanted. Okay. So I'm pretty certain that this URL is going to cause me hassle. Um, but let's start off by adding 11 to these, shall we? Um, so let's just follow the installation directions. Um, quick start. Can I do that? Let's do... with me. How do I do this bit? Okay, um, so that made a thing, um, and we have a package. I'm going to do a build script, build, and then node generate data uh, .js. Okay, let's probably set that to lib. Lib being the library, um, generate data. And what I'm going to do is just look at what I did for the jobs page um, and just start with. There you go. Um, so we need our URL was here. Cool. And I'm going to use some of these bits to be installed. So let's install these bits. CSV, node fetch, and sluggify. Sluggish. Um, I think that I can set this to true and it will work. Um, that should do the trick. Uh, let's make a data directory. Um, so this is the date field. I don't need that. And we're going to make a slug from probably the name and uh, product and the year. Okay. And we don't need any of this approval stuff. Fix me, get copy by image. We'll do that as well. All right, so npm run build. Oh, let's move that. So that didn't like the import statement. It's because I've used import here and make it a MJS. Um, why don't I just get rid of that? Nope. Okay, that kind of didn't work. Okay, so it didn't like the file. It shouldn't care about the file. Oh, that's why, because it was looking for a source directory. Well, it's done something. Let's have a look if we have a file. Cool, so we have timestamp, rating, date. So not super keen on that field like that. I would like that to be formatted. So date, otherwise that, that. 
let's run that again. It's pretty ugly with the date. Oh, we got null and null. Uh, oops. We've got slug in there as well. We have it's look at that. Monkey forty seven undefined nan of nan. Uh product or that. Just fix this last part. So what we're gonna do is console.log underscore. I use underscore as like a shorthand for the current variable that I don't care about. Um I don't think it can parse that properly. Maybe it can, but I'm not totally sure. New date. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Okay. Um. Oh God. Uh, is it date to pause? Man, why is it not like that date? Um. I can probably hack the date to make it work. So um, the timestamp, this value needs to be restructured a little bit. So I'm gonna do const um, or let uh, a b equals that dot split on the space. And then we'll put this back together here. Uh, the time is fine, but the date is bad. And we're gonna do uh, let um, D M year equals a dot split on that, and then we'll do um, uh, dollar y uh, month. That should do it. That's what I'm looking for. And we have a timestamp that we like. That's what I'm after. Oh, we missed the, let's make that right. There you go. Cool, so it's a good place to stop for a minute or while I kind of move to the next thing. Um, the next part of this will be to create out the 11T uh, initial directory structure to start serving these both as a list, um, similar to kind of what uh, Mike has done here and also to individual pages that you can jump straight to. And another part will be actually getting these images to open. I don't know what's gonna happen. I get kind of a redirect. Yeah, it's not great, right? So I think there's gonna be a bit of work to try and work out how to do that part. Um, yeah, it's a big HTML page. So that's no good to me. Um, I need to work out if there's a way of getting that image from the drive um so that'll be the next part of this video keep watching if you want to learn more <laughs>